Columbus by Joaquin Miller Read for LibriVox.org by Ezwa To celebrate Columbus Day 2006 Behind him lay the grey Azores, Behind him the gates of Hercules, Before him not the ghost of shores, Before him only shoreless seas. The good maid said, Now must we pray, for lo, the very stars are gone. Brave Admiral, speak, what shall I say? Why, say, say long, say long and on. My men grow mutinous day by day, My men grow ghastly wan and weak. The stout mate thought of home, A spray of salt wave washed his swarthy cheek. What shall I say, brave Admiral? Say if we sight not but seas at dawn. Why, you shall say at break of day, say long, say long, say long and dawn. They sailed and sailed, as winds might blow, until at last the blanched maid said, Why, now not even God would know, should I and all my men fall dead. These very winds forget their way, for God from these dread seas is gone. Now speak, brave admiral, speak and say, he said, Say long, say long and on. They sailed, they sailed, then spake the mate. This mad sea shows his teeth tonight. He curls his lip, he lies in wait, with lifted teeth as if to bite. Brave admiral, say but one good word. What shall we do when hope is gone? The words leaped like a leaping sword. Say long, say long, say long and on. Then, pale and worn, he kept his deck, and peered through darkness. Ah, that night of all dark nights, and then a speck. A light, a light, a light, a light! It grew, a starlit flag unfurled. It grew to be time's burst of dawn. He gained a world, he gave that world its grandest lesson. On Ceylon. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.